All right, welcome back everybody. So today we're gonna be doing mid ladder, but with a little bit of a twist. So basically, okay, um, I'm gonna be rocketing their king tower minimum twice each game. Like I can't win the game without rocketing it twice. Um, so I'm just gonna throw a rocket at the first five seconds of the game. Like you think I'm scared? No, it doesn't matter that I got starting handed by a hog player. Uh, I can just throw a rocket on his king tower and I guarantee you I'm still gonna win this game. So um, he's gonna go for e-barbs at the river. Okay, I'm just gonna go knight in the middle and can't use my nato here because i need it for the hog so i'm gonna go ice Wiz to pull over this elite barbarian and yeah we got one out of the two rockets done for the game uh, but basically i literally cannot win the game until i rocket their king tower twice is the challenge so we're gonna see if i can actually beat all these players um like this or not hopefully i mean i'm, I'm thinking i can go undefeated they also updated the ladder system um okay i was kind of tempted right there but that was probably too aggressive um they updated the ladder system to where i can actually push up now even though my level like didn't even get higher so it's kind of nice that i can actually gain trophies from winning um let's see he's gonna go magic archer in the middle that's fine i'm gonna activate the king tower with this mega knight and then go for a knight low ice was to slow down this hog and then also a log okay he goes for a firecracker um we're gonna take a lot of damage but i think that will be fine as long as this firecracker dies there we go magic archer's lining up on my tower though for a couple of shots which is pretty annoying but it's okay um we got king tower activated and i'm feeling pretty confident that we can come back just need to get that one expo connection and there's no chance i'm losing to this guy um i just won't let it happen so almost in double elixir it's gonna be a lot easier for me to like okay um go for outplays of course he's playing the basic mega knight um deck and mid ladder okay he's gonna met Oh, no way. Okay, there's no way he meant to do that because that magic archer was literally like, how did he even do that? I didn't even think that was possible. Um, I'm going to go expo on offense and then just nato this hog rider to the king tower. That magic archer still has me in like shock. I don't know what happened right there, um, but it's okay. I'm going to walk in and come back here. I'm not losing this first game. Like, there's just no chance. Okay, going to go ahead and drop an ice whiz in the back. Um, still need to get one more rocket on King Tower as well. All right, buddy. You know what? See what happens when I mute up. I'm um, just going to go for a log on top of this firecracker in a second here. And then he's probably going to go. Yeah, he's going to make a knight. So I'll just nato. Nice. We'll get a knight down to protect my Tesla here. And then, okay. Kind of a wasted magic usher. I can just go for offensive expo. He's pretty low on elixir. I know he doesn't have enough for e-barbs yet. So at least the expo will kill the magic usher. Um, I can go for a log and then skevies to block. Nice, we're going to get a decent connection here, and yeah, just like that, we're going to throw a little BM, start start coming back, but I'm still going to stay muted so I can uh, focus up. Going to go for an Ice Wiz in the back. Oh, look at this, he's panicking. He goes for a Hog Rider right into my Tesla, and I can just go for another Expo. Oh, okay, yep, um, meant to do that. Going to go Knight, he's probably going to, yep, Mega Knight. Nice, that was actually perfect, because it didn't, for one, it didn't jump on my, oh, get predicted, buddy. Okay, here, we got a BM, we got a BM. I'm going for the rocket on King Tower right now. Got to get the second one off. Um, can't win the game without the second rocket. And that's going to be GG. No way he stops this now. Even if he goes for the e-barbs, I can just log. Yep, and then NATO them back. And that's going to be game. <laughs> oh, never mind. Not game. Um, okay, wait. I actually can't lose this. I need to get back to a Tesla to defend this hog rider. Yep. And now we're chilling. <laughs> um, uh, just going to be him a couple more times because, you know, he kind of deserves it. Um, all right, going to go Ice Wiz on top of this Magic Archer. Hit him with the well played. Go for log on top of all this. Um, you know what? Mm, I'm going to go for another rocket on King Tower. I'm feeling a little bit aggressive. Um, get, maybe I'm getting a little too cocky for my like my own good here. Um, I can just go with the Tesla back up here. Uh, okay, Hog Rider, you need to relax. You need to slow down. Magic Archer, relax. Okay, relax. We need to not lose the game. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna end up winning the game. Throw a bunch of BM on him. Hit him with the thanks, because he deserves it. Uh, even though we get, went down that early, I knew we were gonna come back and win. I mean, it rocketed his King Tower twice, down 2,000 damage, and still won the game. That's tough. All right, going up against Dawn here. Um, hit him with the Dark Gob emote just to start this off. Um, so we ended up getting three rockets in that first game. Gonna be trying to match that. I mean, I don't know if it's possible to get three every game. I feel like two is even pretty hard. Um, especially if they actually know what they're doing because they can punish you if you just toss six elixir on nothing uh, And don't get any damage for it like on their actual tower. So I'm gonna go for a Tesla in the middle to snipe this magic archer Try and figure out what he's playing here. He has Prince Dark Prince magic 
Uh, wait, did he play Magic Archer? Yeah, he played Magic Archer. Um, Dark Goblin, some kind of like baity spam deck, I guess. I don't really know what this is. I'm just gonna go Ice Boots to slow down everything right here. Um, should clean up this Dark Gob as well. Yeah. And then, let's see. Hmm. This might be a little bit tough since he does have a lot of pressure cards. I need to get like a solid defensive structure first before... Okay, I don't want to NATO that actually because I want to actually go in on offense um, with this Tesla. And see what he wants to do here. He's going to just let that happen. Okay. Um, not really sure what's happening right now. Maybe he just... Oh, okay. I mean, he could have just played the Mega Knight. I'm pretty sure he had 7 Elixir, but... It's whatever. Um, I mean, I'm going to go for the King Tower activation. It's kind of my only play right here. I'm going to go Knight of Pi, then Nato to the King Tower, and should take zero damage, get the King Tower activation, and that is exactly what we're looking for. Huge lead to start this game. I can just start chucking rockets on tower as well. Um, on King Tower, not on tower. And, okay, Dark Goblin at the bridge. All right, we like to see that. Almost into double elixir, which I can be a little bit more safe when I just throw the rocket. Um... I don't know, this deck, definitely, there's, like, potential that I could just lose in one push to this deck since it has, like, such a big amount of pressure. I'm gonna go export the river, see what he wants to do. Okay, Skarmy. Um, I'm actually going to let this live for a second because I don't really want to um, deal with, a, like, a Mega Knight in front of that Prince and then actually lose. I'm gonna go for rocket number one here. Okay. Um, did I just throw? I hope not. I'm gonna go Knight low log on top of all this um okay 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 i think we're all right just gonna go ice was to slow everything down that ice was was really clutch because it also i don't know what happened there but the dark prince didn't charge onto it and we can just go skellies for this magic archer perfect placement on the skellies and yeah we are vibing right now um can probably go for the second rocket you know what let's do it oh we almost predicted him imagine okay we're gonna have to defend a mega knight at the bridge here um, uh, yep, so we're gonna go Tesla low first, then pull the Prince over to the Tesla first, um, so, the, so it targets the Prince and not the Mega Knight, and I can go for Skellies on top of all this, log for the Dark Gob and the Ewiz, and we're gonna take some damage, but it doesn't really matter too much, we've already got the two rockets, so I can finally go for an offensive, uh, expo here, he's gonna go Dark Prince in the back, um, ooh, we almost get the connection right there, that would've been game, but he gets the Prince down just in time, go for an Ice Wiz here, to... Slow everything down, and yeah, pull everything back here. Should be game, maybe? Okay, that's going to be game. Uh, yeah, just rocket the tower to finish it off. We got the two rockets off, and let's go. Another win, another Mega Knight. I mean, it's mid ladder. I'm going to face Mega Knight probably 75% of the games, if not more, to be honest. All right, in this third game here, I just wanted to say thank you for all the birthday wishes from the last video. Well, currently, when I'm recording this, it's actually my birthday still, but... Uh, I just wanted to say I appreciate all the like nice messages and stuff and all the video ideas. This one, I, I think I, I didn't see this one exactly in the comments, but I saw something like it. And I was like, you know what? I actually thought of this idea um, like just off the, out of the blue, like in my own head. And I was like, you know, what? let's just do this and see if it's uh, even possible for a video. It seems like a fun idea. OK, what the heck? Uh, I'm going to go night in the back here to help clean up this graveyard then go for my log on top of all this skelly's up high to cut back this phoenix for a second and okay which needs to chill out it's kind of op right now um oh my gosh which just got like oh my okay did they buff the witch or something then i didn't see it um because that just was splashing like it was a freaking ice wizard for a second there um it's gonna get one more shot too you know just to piss me off and i can go ice was in the back here see what he wants to do oh no he's got monk Ugh. okay we're gonna go expo right away to uh get the connection on tower and just i yep mid ladder that's all i have to say mid ladder um just <laughs> just watches my expo connect on this tower and then plays the tombstone after like yeah you know probably not the biggest brain play i've ever seen but you know it is up there so let's see just gonna cycle log why not um i guess he does have graveyard that's probably why i shouldn't cycle log but it's whatever um just need to be ready for him to go in on offense I could... Oh, let's do it. I forgot I had to get the two rockets until just now. Um, okay, we're going to get the one off right there. Go for a Tesla in the middle. We actually do hit the Phoenix. Anytime they give me value like that, like I kind of just got to take it and hope for the best. Like, like if I had Rocket right there and he played that Witch, bang, you best believe it's going down immediately. Um, okay, Ice Boost Skellies to clean up this 
graveyard and it was a lot easier to defend that push since the phoenix was already in the second stage and not just like fresh um i'm just gonna go knight to the side to tank for this witch and then i need to get one more rocket on king tower at least here okay i'm gonna go defensive expo first because i don't want to uh, get overwhelmed and lose the game um let's see tesla's cleaning up most of this right here expo on tesla on defense like just for some reason are putting in so much work just gonna go for a log okay he actually does use the ability finally i was thinking for a second he just didn't know how to use it or couldn't figure out where the button was um but <laughs> it looks like he figured it out just gonna go knight up high skelly's in the back and yeah just a zero percent chance this graveyard does anything um we're gonna go for the second rocket here on king tower feeling pretty confident now maybe i'll give him go for third we'll see we'll see how this uh next like interaction plays out i'm gonna nato everything back and just go for a log to clean up this egg. He might graveyard with this. Yeah, he is. So we're just going to get Ice with Skellies down. He pops the ability too. Okay. Um, he's trying his best, but we have so much on the board. We're going to go for another rocket. Let's do it. I'm feeling confident. Three down. Uh, maybe we can get a fourth, but I'm, I'm seriously starting to doubt it. I need, I'm actually pretty scared that he can win like off one graveyard push. So I'm just going to set up a Tesla right here and see what he wants to do um log nato actually you know what let's just win the game i'm not taking the risk i'm not losing to a mid ladder player especially not graveyard except graveyard is like one of my least favorite archetypes in the entire game to face so yeah it's going to be three up three down and the challenge is going really well so far we've been managing to win these without too much uh difficulty except for that first one was kind of scary but anyway gonna go ice was in the back here for this fire spirits um if i had rocket i probably would have just rocketed that furnace right away but unfortunately, I did not have it in the starting hand. If he does that again later on in the game, I could think about it. But all right, we're just going to try and feel him out here. He's got Valkyrie. I'll just set up a Tesla at the river. Bats are going to get wrecked as well. Um, okay, that's a lot of elixir for that, or like a lot of value for that log. Just going to probably go Skellies here to tank for this Valk, and then hopefully for that Fire Spirit as well. And then, okay. Um... Should I expo? I feel like it might be a little bit too aggressive, but I'm feeling kind of aggressive. I don't know. I'm just going to go for the rocket on the furnace. I should have done this probably a little bit earlier. Not that it really matters, but you know what? Um, definitely could get punished for this. We'll see what happens. All right, he's going to spam the e-barbs at the river. Definitely not the play for him since uh, I have plenty of elixir to defend that. Okay, we're going to take some damage from the e-barbs, then I'm going to wait for the first one to die. Nato that second one to King Tower, because I didn't want to risk missing that Nato. And yeah, we're going to get the activation. Take a little bit of damage, but like... I don't, I don't know what it is about mid ladder, but if I take a little bit of damage, I'm not really worried. Obviously, like, when I'm playing top ladder, I'm trying to prevent as much damage as possible. On mid ladder, it's kind of a little bit different. So, oh, that's perfect. Okay, log all this, and that's going to be tower. No chance he has any elixir. He just spent seven, so he's probably at around four right now. Just going to ice whiz to kill those bats okay actually a pretty good fireball um kind of saved him the game i thought we would just win right away there th right away right there um but good fireball to okay that log was terrible though i was just hyping him up and then he just had to throw a log like that man come on so i could go for the rocket here and probably be fine oh come on bro you know me i'm rocketing that furnace <laughs> he's actually giving me value he's making this challenge just too easy i mean come on man um I'm gonna just nato all this back and then tower will clean up the rest and oh no this is like mid ladder to a t he's just spamming e barbs at the river with rage like literally not up a blixer or anything he just thinks that it's going to magically break through um so i'm just going to go expo the river now our setup is too nice to just to pass this up he goes for a fireball oh my lord oh no <laughs> just gonna rock it for the third time on king tower i mean at this point i could just rock it the entire game and still win how bad like with how bad he's playing um so i suppose he's going to clean the rest of that up 18 seconds. Oh, buddy, don't rage. You're just going to embarrass. Oh, my lord. <laughs> There's no way he genuinely thought putting e-barbs. He missed the tower with the fireball. Come on, one more rocket. Get down. Give me a fourth. Please. Yes. <laughs> we get four rockets done. That's a new record. I don't think we're going to be able to beat that, but you know what? We're going to keep uh, keep playing. This guy's a GT legend, I'm pretty scared. So I'm just gonna hit him with the Dark Gob emo to start off the match here. Classic Intimidation Factor 101. I'm just gonna go for Log, cause he ain't doing anything. And see, oh my. <laughs> nah. Okay. 
I don't even know what to say. I genuinely am speechless after that. That was actually hilarious. I mean, is that just game? Uh, if he doesn't have a good response, that could just be game. Nah, he's got Valk, so that's actually a pretty good response. But, dude, that... <laughs> 10 Elixir at the river for, for no reason. Like, he wasn't up. He wasn't... The game literally had just started. Like, I felt like I was playing against somebody that just picked up the phone and put down two cards at once because they just felt like it. Uh, I'm just going to rocket the tower, and the worst part about that was is he, is he put the wizard in front of the prince, which I don't even know how you possibly do that. Um, but, I mean, <laughs> we could probably three crown this guy with rockets only if I really wanted to. But, I mean, oh, that was actually so bad. Anyways, moving on, you know, maybe his brother had the phone and now he has it and, like, handed it back to him or something, and he was just trolling and he's actually a god. So, just going to cycle a log again, go for an ice whiz in the back. Um, he goes E-Barbs, I, let's see. I'm just gonna go Knight in the back here, see what he wants to do. He goes for the old, oh, that is too low, I think. Maybe. Oh no, Wizard on my tower. Harry Potter on my tower. Wow, Nerf Wizard, look how much damage that just did, that's actually insane. Um, I'm not even, like, joking at this point, that's actually insane how much damage the Wizard did by itself. But, I mean, I'm still gonna win pretty easily here not really too worried he goes for a skelly barrel yeah i mean i'm not gonna waste my ice was on that i could definitely do it probably get a couple hundred more damage but this is just i don't know this is just a little bit i don't know this guy's just crazy to me um oh my gosh i don't understand this is like the second person we've faced that every time they have e-barbs in cycle they just toss it at the river like it's freaking 2017 again um i don't know if any of you played back then but there was one meta where the e-barbs were literally so broken you could just toss them at the river every time you had them and that was actually the right play um i don't even know if you call that a meta it was literally just like a broken game at that point so uh, i'm not saying the game's not broken now don't get me wrong it definitely is but <laughs> i'm just gonna go for a rocket on king tower now He's going to give me a free King Tower activation with that Skelly Barrel. All right, never mind. He's going to pressure me. I'm scared. I've got to go Skelly's up high, log low for all this. Um, and then we can just go Knight on top of that Prince. And yeah, that's going to be GG's. I mean, I guess it's not yet. This is probably the easiest defense of my life, though. I can just go NATO up high, and then the Ice Wiz is just the best card in the game. Um, honestly, I was... I, the Ice Wiz is is really really bad guys like don't take me seriously when i say it's the best card but there are some times where it gets a ton of value like this but only against people that don't know how to play against the ice wizard if that makes sense so i'm just gonna go expo in the middle hit him with the good luck hopefully he just dropped his phone and like the expo connects okay unfortunately not but he does spam nine elixir at the river go going to give me a very easy path to get a walk on um oh my gosh mini pekka into a tesla when i have skellies and cycle that's just gonna be a rocket on king tower because we got to complete the challenge. I think that was two. I can't remember if that was two or three, but that's at least two. So it's going to be game. He plays another set of e-barbs at the river when the game's already over. Classic mid ladder goaded player right there. Going to go for one more game here to hopefully close out this challenge. So far, we've been successful. So hopefully the last game doesn't mess that up. Just going to go for a Tesla to defend this Ram Rider. What is up with mid ladder players and tossing a win condition or like you know what? I'm not scared. I'm rocketing the King Tower. Let's do it. Um, but what is... Oh, that was bad timing. What is up with people just tossing things at the river without any support? Like, I don't understand the concept of that. Like, obviously, you're way less likely to just break through from one card at the bridge than if you build up a push in the back and actually, like, try and build a push, right? Like, it, doesn't everybody know that in this game? But I guess not. Maybe I'm wrong. Um... There's definitely times to spam at the bridge, but like right at when we're, we're both at 10 elixir, right? If you throw something at the river, you don't think I'm going to have a response. Like, uh, I just don't understand that thought process. Maybe they just are impatient and don't care. That's probably what it is, to be honest. Um, that probably is the difference between top ladder and mid ladder is a lot of the people don't care as much. I'm just going to go skellies and like don't understand that you need to actually be patient to win and be good at this game. Um, that was kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Kind of angry about that. Have a really bad cycle too for this bandit. I'll just go for an Ice Wiz to... Um... Oh, there it is. There's the mistake we were waiting for. He throws a poison on an Ice Wiz. Okay, that actually didn't work out too great for me right there. I am gonna get like 800-ish damage. I can just go for a Knight to kite back at this Eye Drag as well. All right, buddy, stop yamming. You're not gonna win this game. Even though you're up 
like 1500 i am literally not scared at all i can tell that this is going to be pretty easy once i get a good lock on so i'm just going to go for a log on top of this ice school all these rockets on king towers are getting to my head i'm um, going to go ice whiz like this and should counter all that um i've already rocketed once right yeah so i need to need to do one more to complete the challenge and win the game uh, I think we've played five games, or maybe six, so if I can win six games while rocketing their King Tower every single game, um, minimum twice, I feel like that's a pretty impressive uh, challenge completed. So I'm just going to go Tesla in the middle. He poisons, we're going for the rocket now. Even though I'm down 12 or 1,600 damage, I am not scared at all. Um, he's going to go... I drag it in the back, I'll just cycle to my Ice Fist with the Wog. The reason I am playing opposite lane is because he has poison. I don't want to give him any value, um, like for free, basically. So I'm just going to go Tesla in the middle. Oh my lord, that's a lot of uh, a lot of things coming down at once. So I'm going to go Knight up high to tank for this Marcher. And Ice Wiz is going to clean up the eye drag. And you know what? I'll take that defense. I can start setting up for an offense now, um, hopefully. He goes Bandit. Okay, here's the play. I'm going to go Ice Wiz in the middle. Go with Skellies to cut it over and then expo right away nice little transact uh not transaction <laughs> what is it what is it called yeah is it called transaction like a transaction defense into a offense is that what it's called i don't know um i'm probably just tired and don't even know how to speak english anymore but uh, transition it's not transaction oh my gosh please don't roast me in the comments guys i swear i actually know english um so he's just gonna I'm gonna let that magic archer walk in my tower because that's the weaker lane, or like the lane that I don't really care about, to be honest. So I'll go for an eye, um, an expo at the bridge. He goes for an eye drag. I can just go ahead and rocket this eye drag and the ram rider. Oh my gosh, what is he doing? He just lost the entire game. Oh, <laughs> what was he thinking? And I've already rocketed twice because I uh, did it when we were down 1600 damage, I remember. And we're going to end up taking the win. Um, yeah, thanks for watching the video, guys. And once again, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Peace.